In this part of the economy, at least, business is booming. Eight million payday loans were issued in the last year, despite controversy over the way that failing to pay back on time can very quickly add up to unaffordable debt. This customer's £170 loan ended up costing her £2,000 to repay. They were offering me more and more money until the point where they were actually physically offering me an amount that, with the interest they would have charged, would have been more than my monthly salary. The 50 largest firms have already been given a deadline to clean up their act by the Office of Fair Trading. We show the exact cost of borrowing right up front. But now it's calling in the powerful Competition Commission to consider much stricter controls of the whole market. We've been very concerned about this market. We've been concerned both about the, uh, about the practices of individual lenders and the fact they're not complying with existing laws and guidance, but also now concerned about the more deep-rooted aspects about the way that demand and supply is working in this market, uh, about the fact that competition is not there as a result. The investigation will examine if the way costs are presented makes it hard for customers to compare loans, whether using speed as a selling point favours companies that cut corners, and if rolling over unpaid loans traps customers limiting their choice of firm. Some lenders, like the Money Shop and QuickQuid, have signed up to a code of practice. Their spokesman says market mechanics isn't the issue. The focus should be driving out the dodgy operators. It's about standards and it's about good practice. And what I hope the Competition Commission will identify is that there is good practice in parts of the industry and it needs to be applied on other parts of the industry or those lenders need to get out of the market. The Competition Commission has the power to cap interest rates or ban some types of loan altogether, but it's likely to take a year to come up with reforms to better control this controversial industry. Catherine Jones, 5 News.